Hi again, here we are to continue our Xcode project with this uh, weather app that we're making. And in the last video, we, um, we, we set up a, a NSURL session and a data task and loaded the data from the internet. And then we parsed the data with Swifty into an easy format here using JSON, right? And so now we got a couple more steps to take care of. They're just small things, but they're, they're, they trip you up. So let's go over them in detail here, okay? So if you remember, before we added this connection to the internet, we kind of mocked it up and we created this weather object that we're going to pass back to our delegate, right, with set weather. And so this weather object has three properties. It's got the city name, the temperature, and the description right up here I've, I've gotten the temperature and the longitude and latitude but I didn't get the description or the name of the city so let's do that let's say let name equal Jason and then um, I, I know that it's name here but I'll show you how I, I figured this out right so so that's how we're gonna get the name so we're gonna go to our Jason object and we're gonna get the element name name and if I look at the parameters here at the very bottom, you can see that uh, there's a property at the top level called name, and that's the city name. So that's what I'm getting here. Okay, I've got name, right? So now the description is over here in this little block up here called weather. Okay? And, and then it includes main and description. And main is sort of a short version of the weather, and description is kind of a longer version. Let's look at the, because this one is not obvious. You, we're going to access this a little bit differently than the other ones, and I'll show you why. So here's the data that we loaded off the internet in JSON format, and here is the weather. And you'll notice um, under coordinates, it just said coordinates colon. Let's zoom in on that, right? And then it has this, the curly brackets with another object inside, right? So, so coordinates is an object with two properties, longitude and latitude. Weather, on the other hand, has a colon, and then it's followed by the square brackets. So this weather right here, it's not obvious from the list of parameters here, but weather is actually an array, and then in the array, there's an object. Right, so for us to access this one, we need to do this. We need to say um, JSON name, or no, uh, wait, let, how about let description equal JSON bracket weather. And then now we're at that array, so I want to get the first item in the array, so I'm going to put bracket zero, and then this gives me the object here that I've selected, right, because it's the first item in this, in the, the square brackets there, right, so that's the first item in that array, and now once I'm at this object, now I can get description and main and ID and icon and all these other properties, right, so I know that's a little, a little weird there, right, because it, it doesn't really show you in the parameters, but anyway, so let's get description here, so we'll say description, and then description is a string, so we'll do dot string here, and then Swifty will convert that to a string for us, okay? And now we want to make our weather object, so let's say let weather equal, and then we'll do uppercase weather. We're making the, a new instance of our weather struct, right? Which is over here. Um, it's this guy right there, right? Okay, right underneath weather service. And uh, if I hit the parentheses here, it'll give me all the parameters that it takes to initialize this. And so for city, that's our name property here. And then temperature, which is a double, which we made up here. Temperature is double, right? We type temp in there. And then description, which is a string, is this one right here. And we, you know, cast that as a string. So we'll say description, right? And then we've got our... our our weather struck. Now, it's giving me an error here because these um, Swifty returns an optional for each item because it might not be there. And we could do the if let syntax to check, and we probably should before we're done, but uh, but this will work for now because I know that it returns these, these, um, these values. So what we'll do is we'll unwrap those optionals with the exclamation point like this. Okay? And we actually could have done that here 
also that would have been an, an option for the optional right okay um, but I'll do it here and there we go and now it's warning me it's probably saying like you know you've created a variable but you haven't used it yet right and then it's saying like hey you know you could replace that with the underscore if you're not going to actually use a variable for that but we're going to use it so our our last step here and we've actually got more than last step but just for this phase right here we need to send the data back to our delegate okay and when we write this in here we're gonna do it this way we're gonna say if self dot delegate and since delegate is a property that belongs to this class right it's a property of the weather service you know class right when we run code in a block right because this data task is running in this this block right here when it runs in a block we have to include self in front of any variables that belong to our class because the block actually is something that we pass on to some other part of the program and it gets run from there and so you know it doesn't know who owns this delegate variable right so we're gonna just check and make sure our delegate is not nil right and if it's not nil then we can um, we can call on the set weather method right so we'll say delegate dot set weather okay and then we'll pass our weather object now we're gonna have one more problem here right so we'll save that and we'll give it a quick test and here it's gonna load in the simulator and there it is and then we'll set a city here we'll set um, how about uh, San Diego and we'll click OK and then there's our data now it didn't actually it did put San Diego there but that's I think that's because we set this thing somewhere else but uh, you know it didn't do the description and the temperature right so it didn't actually take us back to the um, to the view controller here right so if I look at the set I switched to view controller there and I'm looking for set weather in here which is somewhere actually you know you can just find it on the menu here let's do that set city um, set weather there we go right so here it should have printed out um, actually it, maybe it did um, well you know we should be having like what I'm saying is we should be having this problem because actually the the this um, data task right here runs on another thread and so we have to tell it to switch back to the main thread to get that to work correctly okay even though it did work there I you know I, I swear I've done this a few times and it it you know when you're in this block here you got to tell it to switch back to the main thread because this is this these data task runs asynchronously right so um, we'll just add that code in here just to make sure that we have it right so um, so what we'll do is we'll say um, we're gonna do one more thing and I want to put I want to put this call to um, you know set weather inside this other little thing that I'm gonna add here so let's let's put this like that put a couple lines in there right so we can see this separately and we're gonna wrap something around this right so what we want to say is we want to say dispatch um, and you'll have to, you might have to type this one um, you know until you get the the right one because there's a lot of, of items listed there so we want to do dispatch async okay and then we want to um, say we want this first one here that says Q and block okay so the Q that we want we have to get it from dispatch um, let's see dispatch ATC H and then we want the main uh, no actually we want to say get main Q okay so we want to say dispatch get main Q and then now we have a block that's going to be sent back to the main Q to be dis to be executed right okay and we want to put this inside of that block okay And then we will uh, stop and then we'll test it one more time right and we need to get back to the main queue because it you know if the app is multi-threaded like the the main interface and storyboard is running on one thread and our call to 
you know, um, to our data task, right, is running on another thread. And so if something happens on one thread, it's not necessary that the other thread is going to update, right? And, and we need to update the interface here. And that's why probably like the print statements work on either thread, but but the interface won't update. So so now let's let's get our update happening, right? So if we switch back to uh, view controller and we look at set weather, you can see that we're getting the weather data here, right? And if we want to display that, we've got a bunch of, um, you know, labels. I got temperature label, description label, city label, right? So we can get that data from the weather object, right? So here's set weather and it's passing us a weather object. And so we can say, um, how about uh, city label dot text equals weather dot city name. And then we'll say temp label dot text equals weather dot temp. And then maybe we'll say um, description, wait, description label dot text equals weather dot description, right? And this needs to be the lowercase weather because it's the variable here. The uppercase is the uh, the struct name, right? Okay, that's the type. So we got a little problem here. These are okay. City name and, des and description are okay because they're strings and we can assign a string to the text property which expects a string. But the um, the temperature is, is a double and so we can't assign that to a string so it's giving us an error. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this into a string. We'll just wrap it in a string like that and then we'll put the backslash parentheses around the name of the variable like this, right? And then that'll just convert it into a string for us. Okay, so let's give it a try. So that should get us, um, get our weather to show up. And now it's always gonna be London for now, and then we're gonna fix that in, a, in the next um, step, okay? So let's test it. So we're gonna build our app again. And here it's building. Oh good, build succeeded. And there's our app, so let's type in a city, and I'll type in, um, how about uh, uh, Paris, right? And I'll hit OK, and then you can see it gets the weather for London, right? So we're going to fix that, but there's our weather. It's scattered clouds in London, 282 degrees uh, Kelvin, right? So we're going to fix that too. So we got a few things to do, but now our app is actually functioning, right? So we can always get this, the weather as long as it's London, but uh, we're going to change that next, okay? But anyway, if you've gotten this far, pat yourself on the back, and I think that everything is working, and we can continue from here to, uh, to you know, make everything fully functional, okay? Thanks for watching.